Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence. In this video, I'm reviewing the Weblium website builder. The company behind this website builder is Template Monster, which is a popular website that's been around for many years, and they sell website themes for popular platforms like Shopify, WordPress, and they also sell HTML templates for websites. So before I show you the actual website builder platform, and how that works, I do want to take a quick look at their website, their sales website, and point out a few things. So the first thing you notice about the website is that it's visually appealing, has a nice design to it, and I do like to look for that on sales websites for website builders, because if their sales website looks good, it's a good chance that my website's going to look good as well when it's done. They do have a few of the templates uh, displayed here on the home page. I'm going to show you those once we get into the back end, but I did want to point out a few of the features. They have what they call an AI design supervisor that makes little changes to the site to make it look better as you're making edits. So maybe we'll see how that works as we play around with the website builder. It is very mobile friendly and I'll point out a few um, aspects of that. And if we get into the pricing and features, they do have a free plan that has ads on it. And I'm not sure if you're able to connect your own domain uh, in that case, but maybe we'll find that. Uh, the pro level is $8.25 a month, and then premium is $16.60 per month. Both of those are paid annually. They have 181 templates on every plan. The AI supervisor, unlimited storage, SSL, event tracking features, and multiple accounts on all level plans free domain on the paid plans. You got some SEO and marketing tools and then some extras uh, like a custom email address on the higher, highest level plan. So I'm working with the free plan uh, and I'm gonna go into the website builder now and show you the process of creating a new site. If I go into the main dashboard here, let me first go into the settings for this existing site that I'm working on. So they have general settings, blog settings, can create your blog here, chat settings, so it allows you to add a live chat. There are some form integrations, so you can create forms and customize them. Social links, Google Analytics, and some other analytics. Here's your domains here. So it looks like you do need to upgrade in order to add a domain, a custom domain. On a free account, it's probably just gonna be a um, subdomain of weblim.com. You can add some custom code. Looks like that's only available in Pro. Multiple contributors. And then this subscription page is just where you add your, um, where you can upgrade. So if we go back to the main dashboard, to create a new site, I would click Create New. And they give you all these templates. I could create a blank website, but most people will probably want to start off with a template if they're using the Weblim Website Builder uh, because their templates look really nice. They are categorized by um, you know different industries so you can get a quick start uh, to create your website by selecting a category and then you just simply start editing the site so I already started editing one so I'm going to go back into that site you notice it's loading here I did notice working in here that there are some aspects of it that are pretty slow which is going to be annoying on a website builder but um, it hasn't been horrible but I've noticed it from time to time, and I don't believe it's my connection. So I'm on the main page of the site. You see as I scroll around this area, I can click on different things. I will show you that, but on the top bar, this is the site I'm working in, and then the pages. Uh, this site is actually like a one-page website where these links link to different sections, but I did add another page as a test, which I'll show you in a minute. And then also on the top bar, I want to point out the site style. So they give you a really simple way to change the style of the website just by choosing a different palette. So you see when I click that, the color palette changes. And then as I make edits within the site, like if I wanted to change the text color, it would work off of that palette. I could choose any color, but it's going to kind of speed things up by using that default palette. So it's kind of a nice feature to, to allow someone to make some quick overall changes and it speeds up the whole process um, of, of working with colors. You can also change the text throughout the website just with one click and choosing different fonts. And then the buttons are customized using presets and then you could customize them 
further and it uses a primary button and a secondary button. So that's a handy way to just make overall changes. It's gonna speed up the overall design process. One feature I've never seen on a website builder is called commenting. This is one thing that took a while to load. But once, it's, once it loads, you see you can scroll around the website, click on an element or an area and then make a comment. I think this is for collaborating with a team. That's kind of a nice feature um, where you can just add different comments and work faster in a team setting where multiple people are working on the website. I could preview the website by clicking preview. And actually let's go ahead and publish it just to see what the URL looks like on a free account. So this might be it here. I'm not sure if I'm able to customize this at all, but I'll click open. Here's what the URL looks like. If I go back into site settings, I'm just curious if I can change the URL. There's a site title. It doesn't appear that I could change the URL. Oh wait, rename. No. Yeah, so in a free account, I think you're stuck with these URLs that look like this. If you wanted your own custom domain on the website, which most people probably do, you will need to at least upgrade to their uh, lowest level account, which is pro. So here's the ad at the bottom, this black bar that will show on any free account. You'll need to upgrade to get rid of that. It is a little confusing to figure out how to get back to the website builder. I think I kind of lost my spot once I opened that. So I need to go back and we'll click on edit site again, get back to the website builder. So I am pausing it a few times here because it's taken a few seconds to load. So I showed you the top bar. Now let's get into the actual interface um, in the, the, the website to edit it. Uh, there's text up here as the logo, the main navigation here, I can click on that and change the functionality of it. So these are scrolling to blocks on the page. So when I click it, it'll scroll down to a different area of the page. I can add other pages like I mentioned. This website builder works primarily with blocks. So just to give you an example, I did create this new contact page. So I'm gonna click on it and go to it. It's blank except for this global item, which is a footer. So they call it a global block and I can control it or edit it here and it'll change on all the pages. So that's a good way to create like a global footer. But if I wanted to add a contact page, I might click add block here and they have all these preset blocks that you can create. So then in this case, I might go to contacts and this shows me all these preset blocks for contact pages. So I could click this one and it'll load on the page. And then I can just edit it. I can change this form. Looks like you can add different fields to forms. Can integrate them with those settings I showed you earlier. Change all the settings. And obviously I can edit these items here. This is a map. And then there's just some text here. So they do make it really easy to build sites fast that look nice using the blocks. But then once you add all those blocks, and choose a template, you can edit everything as well. So I'll show you how you do that. So in this top section here, I have elements like text, a button. If I click on settings, I can just change uh, the text of the button it looks like. I can add a button. This is actually a button group. I can add elements within each of these uh, sections, I believe they call them. So this area here is called, it's called an area. I can change the alignment of the area, the content alignment, background color. And if I wanted to add an element to this area, here are the elements you can add, text, headings, buttons, images, videos, before, after photos, device mockup. So there's some pretty unique items here that you can add or elements like that device mock-up um, before and after that's pretty unique you can add icons image galleries image mask image cards number a logo accordion text rotator not sure what that is must rotate different types of text that's pretty cool Additional info, icon lists, contacts, quotes, maps, 
app buttons, testimonials, dividers, price lists, forms, social icons, and follow us. So it has all your basic elements plus a few unique items that are pretty cool and have not seen. So like the before after, you could add two pictures with a slider so people can slide back and forth to see the before after. Let's see what options we have for adding photos. So this is a slider setting. Trying to figure out where I add the actual photos. Okay, so that wasn't entirely obvious, but I had to click on it and then click on this item here to upload. So I'm just gonna choose two items, two images. Looks like they have free photos. Let's choose this one, apply. Again, that's a little slow to load there. Gonna pause it. Okay, so that took about eight seconds to load. Uh, so if I click on this other area, I can add a separate image, go to free photos, Let's choose this one, click apply. So that's done. I probably would want to make that bigger. It looks like I just drag it down. And then here's how that works, the before after. So usually it would be like two similar pictures, but I'm just showing you how it works. That's a really cool example of a unique element that not a lot of website builders have. It's gonna allow you to create a pretty unique page with some of these more unique elements. So those are all the elements you can add. And again, you can add blocks, which I already showed you. In a single block, you can edit the settings. So like if I was editing this entire block, there's a bunch of settings like the padding, the background. You can animate an entire section. So I'd have to turn that on and there's just a few animation options. I, I wish the whole thing animated, but they're just animating certain elements. So like if I tried to animate this section, just see what that looks like. So you can change the speed, you can change the ele where the elements appear from. So yeah, each element can be modified in that way. If I wanted to move an element, it looks like I would click on this item here. And then I could drag one of these sections up or down just to reorder the entire um, page. You can also move columns or areas, it looks like. So I could grab this column, move it to the right. All this text can be edited, obviously, using this text bar here with some basic text editing functions. The builder itself is pretty fast. Um, as you see, I'm scrolling around. It's a little bit clunky in terms of like getting where you need to go. Like if I click on something, some of these things jump around, which is a common problem with website builders. So I've only been playing around with this website builder for about 30 minutes and you can see how much I've learned. So there's always a learning curve with any website builder, but this one's pretty easy to use and you can get a website up and running pretty fast. Obviously you'd have to edit all this content, which would take some time, but you can see how quick it is to create a site and customize it. They make things and keep things fairly simple while still giving you a lot of functionality. So you won't be overwhelmed. But for the most part, if you want to do something, you're probably gonna be able to accomplish it with this website builder. One important thing to point out is that it's not totally free form like, a, uh, like Wix website builder where you can pretty much drag anything anywhere. It is structured in blocks and rows and columns. So like I can't take this image and just drag it over here. It's stuck in this area. Um, there might be a way to do it, but I have not found that yet. So it is this block format, but that's usually a quicker way to build a site because you don't need to worry about dragging everything into place. Everything kind of jumps into place for you. In terms of that AI feature, I haven't noticed that as I've been clicking around here. Um, so, but there are some, there's some AI functionality that makes things look good uh, when you are clicking and moving things around. So overall, I like this website builder. I could see it being fun more fun than frustrating, which is a way that I like to measure website builders. Some of them can be very frustrating. There are a few elements that might be frustrating with this, like some of the buttons jumping around and maybe it's slow loading, which is hopefully just a temporary problem. But overall, it looks like it'd be really fun to build a site with this website builder because um, of the way it functions. It's very simple. It's quick to make overall changes and they got some of these really unique elements that you can add to your site. 
So if you're looking to build a site with a website builder, definitely recommend checking out Weblim. And then make sure to check out my website builder playlist, which I'll link to here, and you can see all the other website builders that I've done reviews on. If there's another website builder that you're checking out that I have not reviewed, feel free to leave a comment, ask me to review it, and I'll uh, consider it. See you on the next video.